Hey guys, it's Beta. Today I'm going to go do for you a quick unboxing of this Number One X1 device that was sent to me for review. Uh, the name of the company is Number One. X1 is the actual name of the device itself. It's intended to be a ruggedized phone. So we're going to check out the box, see what we have. So Number One is the company, X1 is the device. Let's open it up. Ta-da! So first thing you're greeted with is the actual device. It is encased in plastic, so we're going to go ahead and take that out. And it's it looks pretty ruggedized actually itself. Uh, overall, the actual device itself is not that heavy right now, but uh, it does have some weight to it because of all the actual rubberization on the side. Think of it as a device. It kind of feels like a device that just came uh, built into a very heavy otter box right out the box. So we'll put the device in a second here. Then we are greeted with the user manual. This is for the X1, or the model of the device. Of course, picture of the device. It explains to you where the different ports are. Not that we're going to read the instruction manual right now, but uh, the intention essentially is, is specific to it and gives you all the instructions of where everything is. Um, and it is in English, which is good. The other thing we want to make sure here we're looking at, uh, we do actually get an included screen protector. Interesting. So right out of the box, we do get a screen protector that's designed for this device uh, since it's nice and it's ruggedized. So you do definitely want to put that in. Uh, we'll take this part out, put that here. Oh, and then at this point, we have the backing because uh, I don't know if I showed you guys yet. Uh, the device itself actually comes with no back on it when it's inside the, the case. So this is the actual back. You Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear it. That is metal, my friend. This is a metal encasing. It is an IP68 certified device. You have the two screws to be able to secure that to the back of the device and of course the two hinges here. Uh, and we'll get to that in a second. Next we have what looks like a uh, USB OTG cable uh, with just basically the uh, connectors for the device. Put that in, standard USB cable, a wall wart that I cannot use. It looks like it's designed for other countries. And open it up and see what the rating is 5.3 volts at one amp so it is a one amp charger so anything will work for this it's not a big deal um, i was reading the wrong instruction there so we'll put that on the side here the other thing we get here which is an interesting thing comes in it looks like a little um wallet a little sleeve and essentially it's a multi-tool that you're able to use or you intended to use with this device not necessarily with with all the sharp edges and all the different things obviously it's a can opener right here uh, but it has been brought to my attention that this is something that you can pick up from generally like either a utility tool or something. It is it is an actual multi-tool intended to be used for multiple different things. But I think the intention of it here is intended for us to use with uh, the little tip right here, which actually works and functions as a screwdriver to be able to secure the device. So we'll use this in a second when we go ahead and put the device together. And uh, last but not least, of course, we are greeted with our battery. It is rated at 5,800 milliamp hours, so essentially it is a very nice, very decent battery. Uh, I have to admit, though, for 5,800 milliamp hour, it doesn't feel like what I would have expected it, um, mostly because I was expecting a much bigger battery. Um, and, you know, nowadays that you get, you know, the 3,200 milliamp hours from Samsung that looks almost about the same or feels about the same weight, uh, it actually is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and start assembling our device. Oh, before we go too far. The device itself is actually uh, slightly different, so let's go ahead and zoom in. So we notice in the back of the actual there's a SIM 1, SIM 2, and there's a microSD card slot. So you're able to go up to 128 gigs on the, on the microSD card slot, but the SIM cards are essentially one of the best things on this. Is you're able to run two SIMs on this and be able to function with it on a ruggedized phone. So it definitely looks promising. I will test it out with two SIM cards. Um, but the only thing, I guess, it kind of looks like it's a full-size SIM card. It doesn't look like it's a... Uh, a micro or a nano, but I'll have to test it out when we put in a SIM card. So let's start assembling our device and boot it up and power on the device. And here it is. So first thing we're greeting is, is of course, number one. Oh, well, actually boot up time is not bad at all. Uh, it is a first boot up on the device. It looks like it says SIM 1 and SIM cards uh, 2 are not activated, so therefore they're not used. And it's greeting us to use the OS. Um, out of the box, it actually looks pretty close to stock Android. It doesn't look like it's a very heavily custom. Okay. It it doesn't look very he heavily customized. Uh, we do get the four capacitive buttons at the bottom, you know, the menu, the home, the back, and the search. So obviously this is reminiscent of Jelly Bean and Ice Cream Sandwich. 
more than likely, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have, um, well, let's go here, go into the hood, go into settings, and sure enough, we are running Jelly Bean. It is Android 4.4.2. Let's just tap, tap, tap. Bam, here you go. And here are all the Jelly Beans. Uh, so yes, this is running Android uh, Jelly Bean 4.4.2. It is not KitKat. It isn't obviously Android Lollipop by any means. And this is not a Cyanogen version of the ROM. This is just a close to stock ROM. Doesn't look like there's a lot of applications installed on this out of the box. You, I do see a compass application right there. Obviously the standard suite of things, backup and restore, that's something different. File manager, it's a different application. Interestingly enough, of all the Google apps, Maps is the only one installed obviously other than the Play Store. So it looks like we're gonna to need to download a few applications on here, a to-do application, of course, sound recorder, basic stuff, wireless input, that's for a mouse. It's a five inch display uh, and it has a 720p display uh, resolution on it. Overall, the feel of the device is actually pretty solid. Once you have it on, uh, actually the back plate on and then the actual battery inside, it actually feels pretty good. It does feel like it's a heavy phone. It's um, Definitely feels like a solid piece of uh, device. It's thick. It's not intended to be a really nice little slim de device. It's intended to be ruggedized. It's intended to be able to basically, you know, drop it. And you can hear how heavy this thing is. Um, overall, looks very nice. Feels very good in the hand. I definitely feel the, the ruggedness of it. And it feels really good. There's a little clip in here to be able to kind of add an extra thing to it if you want to hang it. Um, a little kind of a clip as well as here. I'm not sure if this is an accessory that's intended to come with it, but it, there's nothing included in the box from the way it came to us. Uh, we do have the speaker grill here on the left. The right one just is actually just to mirror it and noise cancelling microphone at the bottom and then again camera in the back 13 megapixel front facing camera is a 5 megapixel and you have your earpiece your proximity sensor your light sensor normal sensors there is no nfc in this device uh, overall it looks pretty just you know standard ruggedized device that gets you what you need to get um, and it does have dual sim which is nice and it'll be something i'll be interested to try i've never had a dual sim device to see how they work so we'll definitely get a chance to check it out i uh, hope you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see if you have any recommendations uh, but as usual uh, i will see you guys soon